Hi, I just thought I'd show you um, with the flexi cast how to mix it. Um, this is one I'm going to show you how easy it is to demold as well. This is one of my own molds, uh, which is a bumblebee. Um, so literally, it just just comes out really easy. Now, um, what you need to do is just make sure especially if you've got like little nooks and crannies like these um, just make sure you don't get any trapped air bubbles because you know what they're like if you, you're going to get air bubbles it's going to be in your smallest most annoying place um, so cocktail stick something like that if you've poured resin you'll probably know um, you know what to do um, so that's the B now bear in mind I mean obviously this middle is solid these are thinner so but even on thick parts you can still bend it um, if you're using sort of prima molds things like that they're absolutely ideal I just happen to have an empty wine bottle so you can see even with the sort of the thickness on there it's going to bend round like that and obviously your little bits are easy to stick down all right so that's that that's the demolding now excuse the state of my scales but they are used constantly and uh, yeah I always seem to be in a rush so one-to-one -one mix you're going to get a part A and you're going to get a part B so your part A um, is a little bit thicker. Give it a good shake. Okay, so just give it a good shake because it will settle in transit and you just want to make sure that it's all mixed. And the same with your part B. That's, that's a bit more fluid but it's your part A that needs a, a really, really good shake. I've just been pouring so there's, there's a little bit of gloop on there it has got a fairly long working time um, but what I would suggest is um, obviously get all your moulds I tend to batch pour so get all your moulds ready just gonna concentrate for a minute I'll go 20 of each 20 of A of be. Um, yeah, so just keep an eye on what you're mixing. I don't tend to mix a big volume at once. Oh, I'll just carry on pouring then. It is quite forgiving, so if you do go over a little bit, don't worry. So once it's light, you go over on one side and you think, I'll just add a drop of that in. And it's all of a sudden you go over on the other. So if you're, you know, a gram out or whatever, don't stress about it. It will still, it will still play the game. Give it a good stir round. The sooner you can pour it, obviously the more fluid it's going to be. Um, so you're going to get better air release in your mould. So that'll do. It's a little bit gloopy at the bottom. That's just, as I say, where I've just not long finished pouring. Move that out of the way. Oops, I've just bashed her. I don't want that on there. If you over pour, don't panic. I tend to, little bits like these, just especially like the B, I tend to over pour on the legs. And what you'll see is that it will go down. See what I mean about air bubbles? Little sneaky things they are. And then just fill it up.
if you do greatly over pour or you've got something like really fine detail then pair of scissors and just cut off all your excess it's not a problem at all when it's set that is just going to get these little sneaky bubbles out in there and it should fill up itself and then just give your your mould a tap and get as many air bubbles to the top as you can and then just leave this one is about 12 hours uh, all depends on you know temperature you know what we're like in England at the moment I've got sweat running off my face apologies that's one of the pubs um, but it could be freezing cold tomorrow so that will probably need a little bit of a cut it's just where I've overfilled it slightly but you can always hook some out so that is um, that's as easy as it gets so if you ever need any help um, if something's not working for you let me know I'm always available I want you to get as much out of it as what I do okay thanks ever so much bye